pleasure I will get out of this Australia shirt um, given that Australia keeps on advancing a little bit against the odds I would say but we'll talk about this Australia uh, soon let's first um, talk about Japan against Saudi Arabia which was the first game of the day and easily the biggest game um, from the names in the round of 16 uh, this is one of those like in the 1990 World Cup when we had uh, Germany against the Netherlands and Brazil against Argentina uh, two heavyweights real heavyweights in Asian football meeting um, in the round of 16 and I'm not sure the game really lived up to it um, Saudi Arabia started out making pressure however Japan scores the goal from a corner kick um, corner kick that they earned uh, Tomiyasu had it in relatively unobstructed could free header more or less into the corner from that moment on yes it was all down to Saudi Arabia there were nice chances here and there uh, most of them I, mean, I think there was a curl shot that uh, just missed the goal and others were um, the uh, I think Al Muwalat missed really badly uh, shot high instead of um, keeping it low um, it seemed like Japan had the game more or less under control and yeah they said it was a professional win for Japan and they're now rewarded with a game against Vietnam yes Vietnam gave um, uh, Jordan a run for their money but honestly Jordan Japan that's a huge difference so I think that with all that uh, Japan is looking at a relatively safe uh, semi-final spot um, without having exerted themselves too much reminds you of someone a little bit for us um, but you know I think they had to work harder than for us so far but yeah it's still professional when you got uh, rid of a major power in Asia that has been playing well at times and now you stand in the quarterfinals where you're huge favorites so I think if you're a Japan fan you gotta feel quite good also quite good uh, is if you're Australia fan like me um, I think the game is nothing to really talk home about I think a uh, few chances in between this one from how it was sent said that was always meant to go to penalties I would have expected some goals beforehand but uh, when I watched the highlights I mean they showed two half chances if those were the biggest chances that tells me a lot about that game so it was all about the penalty shootout uh, first two penalties got converted then a uh, Behic penalty was saved by Nesterov <laughs> but Tuchtach uh, Jeff uh, decided to take it safe and shoot down the middle but Matthew Ryan kept standing the first time I saw it I thought he went a little bit in as well but no he saved it quite well uh, this is one of the few you don't see this very very often penalty in the middle that the goalkeeper remained standing I guess it the gamble was worth it the next two penalties were converted again then Janu uh, converts the penalty for Australia and Big Maif is um, saved very nicely saved by Matt Ryan and then Lecky heads it home and Australia stands in the quarterfinals and honestly they have not played all that great but you know like a true tournament team and a true force it reminds me a little bit of Italy reminds me a little bit of Germany without being that outstanding you already are in the quarterfinals again yes it's the Asian Cup field is uh, maybe not as broad as it is in Europe or the World Cup but yeah quarterfinal is quarterfinal um, I would think that semi-final um, is the goal for uh, Australia at least and it doesn't seem that unrealistic if uh, you watch the highlights of UAE against Kyrgyzstan which probably was the best game uh, today where Ismail uh, gives the Emirates an early lead but almost out of nowhere Murzaev uh, equalizes for Kyrgyzstan in the 26th minute and the game stayed kind of you know yes UAE was the more uh, team with higher initiative but uh, Kyrgyzstan kept hanging in there Mabhut then makes the 2-1 and it looks like this was the winner but in stoppage time Rustamov gets the equalizer and sends that game also to overtime there have been many overtime games today 
uh, before we talk about that over time um, it was also interesting to see for me that uh, uh, that UAE decided to play in their dark jerseys if you've seen my jersey review you'll probably uh, recognize that one uh, it looks weird but I think it was an interesting choice of black against red and not white against red maybe give the away jersey some love well in so in the overtime in the 103rd minute pretty clear penalty for the emirates they slot it home and uh, go on and meet australia so we have japan vietnam and australia against the united arab emirates also we have um china play against iran um i think if you're australia looking at the way the emirates have played yes you play the hosts yes this is a tough matchup uh but a how many people were there today in the stadium not too many i don't think that the home field advantage for the emirates is that huge um and now having australia play the emirates uh i honestly given everything that i've seen so far i almost would favor australia despite the home field advantage for, for the emirates yes australia did not convince against uzbekistan but uzbekistan is a much better nation than kyrgyzstan to play against i mean this is almost a level matchup uh, emirates against kyrgyzstan i would uh, favor the emirates anytime all day so uh to me this is a very interesting matchup probably will be the best in the uh quarterfinals at least from the names i mean china iran looks interesting but i think iran will win this comfortably vietnam japan the same and if it goes by form today it's south korea against qatar or iraq maybe maybe qatar which could also be an interesting one but um doesn't hold as much value to me as uae against australia and i know i'm dooming the socceroos now but I feel Australia should feel that they're the favorites and have a good chance of advancing further into the tournament and even making it to the final. But that remains to be seen. As I said, home field advantage does count for something and will be interesting how this will pan out. Uh, this is just before the weekend, I see. So yeah, it will be definitely an interesting one to watch. We have two more games tomorrow, as I said, 22nd and then 24th. Uh, we get the first set of quarterfinals and 25th, the second set of quarterfinals let me know if you watched any of the games if you agree with my assessments um, let me know how you think the tournament will go on how long will i be able to wear this one that remains to be seen give me a thumbs up if you like this video subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these and i will talk to you soon bye hey there i really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.